Russell oversees production for his group Run DMC, which consists of his brother Run. His record company Crush Groove has good news, bad news problems. The good news is that they're getting a lot of orders. The bad news is that they don't have money to fulfill those orders. The brothers visit their father's church. Dad is not impressed with their hit rap song. There's no future in this hip hop mess. It's a no go on a loan from Dad. We meet an aspiring rap trio, the Disco Three. The young men have decided that the educational route to success is not for them. Russell and his brother meet up with label mate Curtis Blow at the club, performing as Sheila E. She catches the eye of Run. The guys also run into businessman JB. He offers financial assistance if Russell runs into any trouble. Russell is warned about doing business with JB. After her performance, Sheila E is invited by Ron to join him in DMC. He tries to impress her, but she's not having it. Like his dad, she is no fan of rap either. When conventional plans to acquire a loan fail, Russell goes underground to JB to secure the money. Ron is still trying to impress Sheila E, and she delivers yet another kick to the nuts of rap music. At their next show, Russell gets a lowball offer to sell his talents over to Galaxy Records. He declines. When Ron shows up late, he offers an alternative performer instead of himself. That performer is Sheila E. Russell isn't pleased by the tardiness nor the changing of the lineup. He orders his younger brother to get on stage and do that rap shit. At the nightclub, Run is still upset about his brother big dicking him in front of Sheila E. When Sheila makes it clear to Run that he's like a little brother to her, he's shattered. Listen, if a woman puts you in the friend zone, you still got a very small chance of getting with her. But if she says that you're like a little brother to her, you have absolutely no chance of ever getting the draws. The executive pulls Run aside. He informs him that his older brother turned down a big offer. Between this and spotting Sheila E getting in the cab with Russell, Run is thinking about breaking away. The Disco 3 learn of a talent contest that may be their chance to landing a record contract. At the talent contest, Russell runs into JB who informs him that if he doesn't come up with his money, he's going to crush his groove. Russell tries to renegotiate the contract with the record executive. There, he learns that his brother Run has already done his own negotiating and signed with the other label. As far as the results of the talent contest, the Disco 3 did not win because of a bunch of upstarts, the new addition. However, Curtis Blow gives the Disco 3 an opportunity to be an alternative at the next show. After shutting down a restaurant for having the audacity to have an all-you-can-eat special, the Disco 3 decide to lean into their obesity and rebrand themselves as the Fat Boys. Running out of options, Russell decides to record the hip-hop hating Sheila E as his new act. Russell runs into JB's goons who left let him know that they mean business. They went full force on kicking his ass and got busy one time. Russell shows up at Sheila's apartment looking for a place to lay low and he proceeded to lay low right into her bedroom. At the next talent show, the fat boys were successful and landed a recording contract. When Run goes to visit Sheila E, Sheila tells him that Russell is in trouble and on the run. Run agrees to check up on him. Run walks in on part two of Russell getting his ass kicked. Jerry Curl Juice was flying as the goons beat up both of the brothers. Full Force got busy two times. Afterwards, Ron agrees to give Russell the money so he can pay JB back. The two brothers come to an agreement where Russell will be Ron DMC's manager. Russell pays JB back and then we get a group cipher featuring Curtis Blow, The Fat Boys, Ron DMC, and that hip-hop hating Sheila E.